All right, we are here with honorary Whistler local, <laughs> multi-time champion, queen of Crankworks over and over again, Jill Kintner. Welcome to Crankworks Connect. What's up, guys? It's been a while. <laughs> Nice to see you. No doubt. Jill, Crankworks, it's hard to imagine it without you right now. It's going on. You're just over the border in Bellingham. Um, so since we're throwing it back, I wanted to kind of throw it back or have you throw it back for us to your first experience in Whistler. You've got a big connection with this place. Yeah, I mean, I was born and raised in Seattle, so it's not super far. And um, like Whistler Bike Park is such a legendary place that like when I was a kid, it was actually the first place I ever rode a mountain bike. Like I rented some like hardtail, like my soccer friends, we all went up there and rented hardtails and like took the chairlift up. And, <laughs> and now that we live in Bellingham, it's, you know, 20 minutes to the border. So <sighs> one totally, of these days yeah. will open up. But. Right there. You've won the Queen of Crankworks title five times. You won three in a row. The last one was 2018. I want to kind of dig into what it takes physically for you event after event after event to stay on top in so many different disciplines. Yeah, I mean, that's the challenge of what Crankworks is. It's like, you have practice, you have qualifying, you have finals like every day back to back and they keep seem to add more and more events to the whole day. So, I mean, by the end of it, you're completely spent. You don't have like a minute to take it in and you have to stay sharp. Your bikes have to be like perfect. You have to like minimize mistakes. So there's a lot of kind of compromise that you have to do just to save your energy, but I always try and like plan ahead and build like a good program and you know build up and train for it so I know what to expect and it's like definitely helps having all these years of experience to know how you're gonna feel or like I do weeks at home where I'm just like you know three bikes a day and I practice it so <laughs> it's kind of normal. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions about the format for the Cliff Crankworks Summer Series because I really feel like this format is almost custom built for your skill set. What do you think about what the riders are doing out there in this in this series? Obviously, like I wish I could be a part of it, but it's just like it feels like such a great opportunity for Canadian riders to shine because you know you go to a World Cup and maybe you don't have the best results, and like they're just you know they get the attention and the confidence built and stuff, and so it's like I feel like they could plug and play this um, this format with these four events like anywhere, and it's like a real mountain bike event. So it's really it's quite fun to watch. It's cool seeing all the Norco boys up there too. Good job, dudes. <laughs> all right, so how do you prepare for these kinds of things that are gonna be so grueling both on your body and your brain? What does it take to get ready so that when competition time comes, you're, you're on point? Well, I've always been like a visual learner and I really like details and preparation. So I kind of just set myself up with a schedule and I know how long I have to practice. And so I kind of can mentally take in the scope of how big of a effort it is. So I, I have like sketchbooks that I keep and I draw track maps. And I, so I'll show you, don't tell anyone, <laughs> but I'll show you my, my, uh, how I plan. It's, um, can you see? So we've got like incredible detail there. Yeah. Like, so I go, everything. I go day by day and I have goals and I know how much time I'm going to put in each discipline. And I know what the key, like I have my own keys or what I got to work on. So I just like, I kind of bite off little baby steps to keep me present and in the now and I like manage my nutrition or I have a mechanic help me with my bike so it's just kind of an energy game where you need to have like full energy when you need it and then rest when you can and so I feel like managing your time and your energy is like and eating the right food and having someone help you is really the keys to that whole series you know when we get going again when we're back to normal we get you know you're back up in Whistler do you have you know spring summer fall you're here all the time do you have a time of, uh, of year that you like to ride in Whistler the most what's your what's your go-to yeah I mean there's nothing better than October in Whistler there's the dirt and the Christmas in the air and it's kind of like seasons winding down so it's all mellow and people are loving it so as far as conditions go they got the the all-time fall time <laughs> coined pretty well Five-time Queen of Crankworks, we miss you in the Crankworks Summer Series. I have to say there's probably a few of the women racing right now maybe breathing a little bit of a <laughs> sigh of relief that the border is closed, but uh, really looking forward to having you back in the mix, Jill. And I want to say on behalf of the whole Crankworks family, thank you for joining us here. It's a pleasure to catch up and can't wait to see you between the tape again. Thanks, Jill. Nice. Thanks, guys.